Number three, I will kill your family. This is what Gary Payton said to Ricky Pierce. Way too far. <laughs> What? The told me they had guns in their bags. What? What is good, YouTube? We are back with another reaction video. Now, today we are reacting to one of my favorite things in the game. Trash Talk. We are reacting to seven insane Gary Payton trash talk stories. Sit down, you smurf. I'm assuming he said that to someone, but that's in the title. Let's get right into it, y'all. All right. From what I heard, GP was a motherfucking savage. Seven the insane Gary Payton trash talking story. There's always a few names that we think of when we talk about trash yep. talking in the NBA. It's normally Michael Jordan, yep. Larry Bird, or Gary Payton. I've made videos on Larry Bird and MJ, but I've never made one on GP, and I thought, why not combine seven of his greatest stories in one video, so here is- Hey, Gary Payton got the kind of face that look like he about to talk shit. Like, look at, look at the little smug smirk he got on his face. <laughs> While MJ and Bird talked a lot, none of them took it as far as Gary Payton, oh, who some argue took it too far, and you'll see what I mean after watching this video. Even some of Gary Payton's teammates were sometimes <laughs> overwhelmed by what Gary would say. Michael Cage, who played with Payton in Seattle, once said on playing with Payton, you just want to go find a library or something. Some place totally quiet just because of how much Payton would talk. Damn. He would just talk like random shit because that's what he felt like doing. Gary Payton also revealed in an interview that is there is no line when it comes to trash talking. In his own words, he said this, you can hate me on the basketball court, but I will say sorry to you afterwards. If I knew something about a person... I like that. First and foremost, let me let him finish. But that's how I am. Like, bro, when we step in between your four lines, it don't matter what the f you say. I mean, I, I take that back. It matters what you say, okay? There's a line, right? But, you know, the line is a little extended because we're in competition. When we get off the court, it should be back to, like, we cool. On the court, it's, it is what it is, though, bro. Mama, we competitors. You can hate me on the basketball court, but I will say sorry to you afterwards. If I knew something about a person's mother, his sister, yes, if he had just got a drunk driving charge, I would go at that situation. It might be cruel to some people, but I would go at it. Well, if I want somebody to say, uh, your wife this and that and that, well, your wife too, right? Right. Your wife too, right? You know what I'm saying? Uh, my boy was... You know what I'm saying? Hey, you right. get out. I'm going to get out with you. You say something. Y'all know Kevin Garnett knows. Now, I'm all for trash talking. I love it. I think it's what makes the game great. Y'all know about Kevin Garnett telling Melo Lala tastes like Honey Nut Cheerios. <laughs> that boy went to the bus after the game. I mean, that's how I was going to do it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you want to get out. Get out with you. You say something about me, I'm going back at your head. Now, I'm all for trash talking. I love it. I think it's what makes the game great. Although, we don't really see much of trash talking anymore, especially compared to what it's to be. Bro. He's so shit. their personal life, and that is just savage. Anyway, let's just get on and talk about seven of Gary Payton's best. Let's trash get it. Moments. Let's get it. Number seven. Let's get it. Gary Payton versus Michael Jordan. Now, this isn't number seven, but it's because it's number seven and six together. MJ and Payton okay. frequently got into it on the court. Two of the greatest trash talkers of all time. That's tough. What else would you expect? But if you do a Google image search for Gary Payton, and one of the earliest and most frequent pictures you'll see is of him drawing a Michael Jordan in the middle of the 1996 NBA Finals. Let me just say, I'm going to just assume Jordan was torching his ass. Because anybody I ever heard really talking shit to Jordan got their Torched. Even though the glove was the glove, Gary Payton was the glove, great defender, MJ was the go. I feel like he's probably torching his ass. <laughs> Which is actually what the thumbnail of this video is. It looks like Payton is about to drop an F bomb. <laughs> his recollections, that is probably a safe bet. According to Gary Payton, it was a lot of everything Payton said. A lot of shit, fuck, fuck you. <laughs> and then Ron Harper got into it, Scotty Pippen got into it. Phil Jackson got Damn. into it. We were going back and forth with the f*** you. This is just funny. Get out. Get out. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny as hell. That's the point. See, Paul Tudor Jones 
is <laughs> This is got into it. We were going oh, back to the fuck use. <laughs> this is just funny. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> That's is funny just... as hell, bro. <laughs> this is just funny in my opinion. And it wasn't even like normal trash talk. It was just players and coaches saying fuck you to each other. And yeah, that, that sounds like Gary Payton. Hey, sometimes that's how it be. Mama Sig, like, after being dropped... I don't have anything else but to say, but fuck you. Like, like I can't even get no other words out. That's funny as hell, bro. That's how you dropped. feel sometimes. Ever preseason game, Payton says he talked trash to Michael Jordan while MJ was resting on the bench. This is just after he got dropped. This is like a rookie right now talking trash to LeBron James. Pretty much. While LeBron James is resting on the bench. It's that confidence. Hayden said it was an experience. And I had to go against Michael Jordan. And it's that confidence, had a good game. bro. When it came to the season, Jordan remembered. And at the first tip he said, hey, I got the young fella. He said, don't forget. I remember about preseason and what you did. And then he just dropped 35 on me. <laughs> I did I say? Bad. And he, being Michael Jordan, doesn't really play that much in the preseason. I had like 19 points and he was still on That's the bench, but I was still talking trash anyway. Bro, I told y'all, I guarantee you MJ torched his ass when he started talking that shit. And what happened? Torched his ass, gave him 35. But also, I respect that. You coming as a rookie talking to the GOAT like that, bro? Talk your shit, just back it up. I mean, he got he got dropped off at 35, but that started his Let's legacy. Let's clarify Peyton here. Number one, don't talk trash to Jordan, especially when he's on the bench. Number two, Jordan just seems to remember everything. I mean, I guess you just I took that person. Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> Number five, Gary Payton says to Jamie Fitz, man, you won't even be in the league next year. From a 1999 ESPN magazine with Dan Patrick, Payton revealed what he might be I don't know who the hell that is. Talk from him caught Jamie Fitz off guard and actually hurt his feelings. During an interview, Dan Patrick said to Payton, is there somebody that has no business talking trash? Payton responded saying, Jamie Fitz, he said something to me. I said, man, you won't even be in the league next year. And then Scott Burrell came over and said, I hurt Fitz's feelings. What? That is just savage if you ask me. I mean, when you think about it, it's literally his job. First and of all, life. in other words, it's that is not savage. That's like regular trash talk. Like, what softer can you... You ain't gonna be in the league, okay? Yes, I am. He might not. Like, if he's some trash, then... Boy, that... <laughs> that boy called his mama. He hurt my feelings. It's like saying that he might lose his job after feelings. the season. Which, I mean, he's both funny because it's trash talk, but completely savage at the same time. And it's funny. literally what Gary Payton would say. Number four, and this is one of my favorite it's stories. Not... Gary Payton goes at Scotty Pippen. This one came from former NBA pointer Damian Stoudemire via the Players' Tribune. He played with Scottie Pippen in Portland after Pippen had pretty much ended his career. I mean, this was his last stint in the NBA, and his whole career had practically been summed up already. I mean, he played with Jordan, won six championships, so mm -hmm. I guess you could say Scottie was just ending up his career, and he was playing in Portland. But Gary Payton didn't care. Stoudemire said, that, he'll go at anyone. He'll go at Scottie Pippen. One time you'll be playing Gary he Portland at Jordan, and you'll be in Pippen's ear. He said, boy. you ain't nothing anymore, Scotty. Where's my cat? Where's my cat? I am scared of you now, Scotty. Mind you, Scotty will have six NBA titles at this point. Gary will have none, but Where's he won't care. Team? He goes, hey, Scotty, you know what, man? You ain't even 50 all time. You want me to show you on my list? I had you 51, Scotty. I had oh. you 51. I don't need to hear you, Scotty. You're 51, Scotty. <laughs> This is the level of trash talk you're up That's against now. Funny. Don't even open Think your mouth. If Gary Payton is going to talk to Scotty Pippen like that, he'll send you to therapy if you're a regular NBA player. This is probably... Bro, he literally talked to... Well, you say he talked trash to Michael Jordan as a rookie. Why would you think he wouldn't talk trash to anybody? He'll talk trash to your mama. He'll talk trash to his mama. Like, he don't give a damn. Obviously, he, he'll talk to anybody. I like that, though. If you're going to be that way, be that way, bro. If that's going to be you, let it be you at all times. You getting cooked. He said he still keep talking. Best player in the league and not top 50. I, I don't know. That that part just cracked me up. But, yeah, that is definitely my favorite Gary Payton trash talking story. Number three, I will kill your family. This is what Gary Payton said to Ricky Pierce. 
Now, this is perhaps the one instance that went way too far. <laughs> Yo, that is not trash talk. This man said, I will kill your fat. Hold on, bro. Let me run that back. <laughs> that is definitely my favorite Gary Payton trash talk in the story. What? Number three, I will kill your fat. <laughs> this is what Gary Payton said to Ricky Pierce. Now, Wait, what? this is perhaps the one instance that went way too far. Now, I just went from talking about my favorite Gary Payton trash talk in the story. And this is probably my least favorite, but it is the most interesting. And I guess I I, I had to put How it. How do you take it there? This is an instance where he went way too far. In game one of the 1994 NBA playoffs, the Sonics opened up against Denver with expectations of rolling into the finals. Yeah, that's of course, we all know what happened there with the famous image of Dikembe Mutombo holding the ball as they beat Seattle in the series. Yeah, you know that series. If you don't, pretty much Denver beat Seattle, and Seattle was that. First seed, Denver was the eighth seed, okay, and okay. they lost. <laughs> but one subplot was the verbal battle between Gary Payton and Ricky Pierce, and the way they got into it. According to then Sonics head coach George Carl, he said, Three years ago, I didn't see the first outbreak, but he and Ricky Pierce got into some kind of discussion at halftime of the first Denver game. And they were threatening to get guns, Carl said, of the altercation. What? The players told me they had guns in their bags. What? I'll kill your family. It was crazy. Now, this story sort of sounds fake, but after what happens with Gilbert Arena... I was about to say Gil wasn't the first. There, I mean, I, I believe this story, so that is crazy. And George Carl, he always seems to be in the middle of something. But Bro, how? Where Gary Payton said, I'll kill your family, as they have guns in their back. Hold on, bro. How do you even get... How do you even get to that point? How do you go from we playing basketball to I'll kill your family? Like, how... <laughs> How the how the do we go to point A to point B, bro? Like it should never be that serious, my guy. At, at halftime, yeah. I don't care how bad you're getting cooked. I don't give a damn if it's the championship game. How the hell do you get to I'ma kill your family and be serious? I thought it was like a funny thing. Like I, I mean, I can't really be funny, can it? I don't really. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. That is some good with readers crap right there. That's crazy. No cap. Number two. Jason Kidd talked trash to Gary Payton, and it completely backfired. Now, I'll actually let Jason Kidd tell you guys the story, because he once talked about this in an interview. So I'll let you guys hear the story, and I'll let that you know. Really well. I'll never forget this. Um, we're playing in um, Tacoma. This is, uh, I'm in the NBA, uh, playing for Dallas. Um, I, I'm, a rook, uh, I, I'm a rookie playing against uh, Gary, and, and so... We always, you know, look at each other, always said hi. Um, but once we got, you know, after the tip ball, we were, you know, going at one another. And I'll never forget, um, he's posting me up. And I pretty much kind of know what he likes to do. At one another. And I'll never forget, um, he's posting me up. And I pretty much kind of know what he likes to do. So he went into his move and uh, I blocked it. And I told him, get that stuff out of here. But I didn't say stuff. But I, okay. he, he looked back at me. And uh, that was a big mistake. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he went on like a 15 0 personal run. Uh, he said the nerve. He ended up losing the game. <laughs> so I went after the game. I said, hey, look, my bad. I had, <laughs> I had, a, I had a mental block. Uh, I got he apologized. <laughs> He said, oh, no, you woke me up, and that, and that definitely helped me. But I said, don't worry about it. I'll never happen again. He apologized. So, that, I guess, man. yeah, Jason Kidd pretty That's much got crazy. the Gary Payton treatment. When I talked about how Gary Payton trash took Jordan, and obviously that didn't work out for Gary Payton as a rookie, yeah, well, Jason Kidd talked Payton as a rookie, and that completely backfired hey, because, bro. yeah. Gary Payton went on a 15-0 personal run, and they lost the game. That's how you go. Yeah, Jason Kidd learned a lesson, and that was don't talk but to see, Gary Payton. But see, if you're going to do this, stand behind that. If you're going to talk, you talk trash, and you get cooked, you just get cooked, bro. Just stand behind it. Move on to the next game. But you are not about to go up to the dude and be like, sorry, I was talking all that trash. Like Y'all can dab each other up after the game and be like, good work, respect. You cooked me. I mean, you cooked me. I'm going to still talk my next time too and i'm gonna cook you like 
That's how I gotta be. I ain't about to come up to you after the game. Sorry about all that trash. I was talking to you during the game. I apologize. Hope you don't cook me next time. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, you heard me correctly. The air. He was practicing. Was illustrated. Bill Taylor shared this story. And this is when Gary Payton was in college. A sports information staff brought me to the gym where I waited while Payton finished his end of practice shooting drills, catching passes and hoisting jumpers from the top of the key. Every release came with a company commentary. Put your hand down. You can't stop this. Too late. He was Pick practicing, bro. Don't even turn around. You know it. Oh, another one. That's and manifestation. All the trash talk wouldn't have seemed so unusual since Payton's chatty reputation. Manifestation, bro. Except for one thing. No one was playing defense. Payton was, that was his the air. When Gary Payton finished like his drill, I asked if he always verbally abused oh, the imaginary defenders. Payton just brought his head to one side and gave me the look, the Gary Payton look, that would become so familiar to NBA fans. The one he would give to referees who called a foul on him when his plastic oh, rap defense became a little too aggressive. He looked confused for a moment, as if he didn't realize he'd been yapping while shooting. Then he said, it just comes out of me. If you know me, you know I'm always going to talk. And that story is just crazy. The dude was trash talking the air. I like there was that. Nobody there. I like the that. The was still trash talking. That is just funny. I like that. Yeah, Gary. My boy said I'm a savage at all times. I don't give a if it's a person in front of me or not, I will try to talk your imaginary bum ass till you walk off this imaginary court. I like that, bro. If you, if that's you, and just as that's you. I, found this I love it. Extremely funny. I love Gary it. Payton said to Cindy Lowe, "Sit down, you smurf." In one of his most infamous trash talking episodes, "Sit down, you smurf" was what he said one day to Cindy Lowe. The former Minnesota Timberwolves coach. The fact that he said, sit down, you smurf, <laughs> to a grown man just cracks me up every time. Anyway, funny, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about Gary Payton and the seven trash talking stories. If we could aim for 3,000 likes, and if you're new around here, be sure to subscribe. I make Yo, videos about this man's trash facial talking. expressions. I make videos about NBA stories. I make videos about the NBA in general. He means every word. The Asian tour. He means the current. Yeah. He means everywhere with his soul. Look at the expression this man. Yeah, I'm going to make a really good video coming up soon about the future of the NBA and like my future and how the NBA will look in like the years. That was dope. That was dope. All right. Outro time. I'm going to keep this quick. One, I like the fact that he came in the league and was like, I'm going to talk to Jordan. I don't give a fuck. That's who I am. That's his thing. He did that. He stood behind that. I like that. Two, <clears throat> The kill your family one was wild. I don't know how we get to killing somebody's family while we're playing a basketball game. But <laughs> we'll just put that aside. Three, I don't think from this, I don't I don't think Gary Payton was on the level of Jordan and Bird when it came to trash talk. They top tier for me. Them two are top tier. I mean, I guess Gary can come after that. I heard a lot about Kevin Garnett too. So I wanna I wanna hear about him. And the last thing, I feel like there's probably more savage things that he said that Gary Payton said in his career than this list right here. I think this list is probably still pretty dope, but I feel like he probably said worse than this. Also, I wanna I wanna see see a Reggie Miller try talk video. But yeah, man, like I said, I wanted to keep it quick. So that's what I did. Thank you, thank you, thank you as always for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for subbing. We trying to get it cracking. We trying to get it going. We trying to drop videos, drop videos, drop videos. I'm trying to pick it up. But thank y'all, man. I appreciate it. Come back next time. I'm out of here.